I love Pokemon Pocket, but I've been wondering how many packs of cards will it take before I get the rarest cards in the game? Like, how many packs do I have to open before I get the Golden Background Crown cards? Or the Immersive Three Star cards? And what do the different rarities like Diamonds and Stars mean? And which ones should I try to pull for in Wonder Picks? And which one should I spend pack points on? Don't worry, I did all of the math so that you don't have to, and we're going to explain everything step by step. Let's start by going over the different rarities, from diamonds to stars to crowns, because each symbol and combination of symbols actually has a different meaning in the game. Believe it or not, two stars is more rare than three stars. I know, right? I was so surprised when I found that out. But let's start from the beginning. What does one diamond mean? The one diamond cards are just common cards, and you're almost guaranteed to get three single diamond cards in every single pack. In fact, if you open just 17 packs in a row, you have a very good chance of getting absolutely any individual single diamond card that you happen to be missing. For example, if you want this specific adorable Bulbasaur, you have a good chance of getting it sometime in the next 17 packs. Obviously, you should never, ever, ever wonder pick or spend pack points for a single diamond card. Just by playing the game each day, you'll automatically collect all of them without doing anything special. But if you do get really unlucky, you could spend 35 pack points, just please don't. Let's talk about the two and three diamond cards, because these represent evolved and rare Pokemon, whereas the single diamond cards were more for basic Pokemon. The triple diamond cards are usually a little bit better than the double diamond cards. So far, it makes sense. More diamonds is more rare. That won't work later, but it'll work for right now. Odds are, in about one or two packs of cards, you will get a double diamond card. However, you may have to open four packs of cards before you get a triple diamond card. That being said, if you're looking for a specific card, it gets way trickier. You'd have to open 26 packs of cards to just get a decent chance at a specific double diamond card and 56 packs for a specific triple diamond card. Still, with two packs free a day, plus missions giving you extra packs, plus every other method of collecting cards for free every day, you will collect the double and triple diamond cards pretty quickly, and again, I would not recommend trying to wonder pick these results. You could, of course, trade in the shop 70 pack points, which is 40 packs worth of pack points, for a double diamond card, or 150, which is 30 packs worth of pack points, for a triple diamond card. I'm not gonna recommend this right now, but we'll come back to it in a second. You will probably get most of these cards for free just by playing the game eventually, but we need to talk about the next tier of rarity, because the system of more symbols is more rare quickly starts to break down now. Quadruple diamond cards. Quadruple diamond cards tend to be not shiny EX cards. They're very powerful, they're very valuable. Actually, though, to find an individual one, you have to open 60 packs on average. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That sounds pretty similar, actually. You have to open 56 packs to get a specific triple diamond card, and 60 packs to get a specific quad diamond card. That's pretty close. But wait, one star cards are actually pretty close in rarity, too. One star cards are just shiny versions of basic cards. On average, you have to open 10 packs to get a single 1-star card. Hold on, now I'm confused. You mean I'm more likely to get a 1-star card than I am to get a quad diamond card? That's crazy! I thought 1-star cards would be more rare than quad diamond cards, but I guess that's not true. That being said, they are more rare, individually. To get an individual and specific 1-star card, you need to open 62 packs. A reminder, it's 60 packs for a specific quad diamond card, and 56 packs for a specific triple diamond card. All around, any individual card of any of these rarities is pretty much just as rare as the others. There's not that big of a difference. 
For this reason, you can consider Triple Diamond, Quad Diamond, and One Star cards as sort of being in the same rarity category. I would also add that when you take a look at the points shop, things get a little bit funny. A Quad Diamond card costs 500 points in the points shop, but a One Star card costs less, only 400 points. And Triple Diamond cards, as we've said, cost 150 points. So far, Triple Diamond cards sound like great value in the points shop. They're just about as rare as the Quad and One Star cards, but they cost a lot less. If you're going to buy something cheap in the points shop, I recommend buying a Triple Diamond card, as they have the best value for the cheap cards that you can get in the points shop. We'll talk more, though, about my final recommendations later, because there are other things you might want to buy. As far as wonder picking goes, I don't recommend wonder picking any of these cards, because the rarest categories of cards are coming up next. Two star cards, or double star cards, triple star cards, and golden crown cards are extremely rare. They're crazy rare. All right, I'm going to give you the numbers on this. To get a random, a, a random, not even the one you want, just a random double star card, you need to open 40 packs. And that's 90 packs for a random three star immersive card. But it's even crazier for crown cards to get a random crowd card, again, not the one you want, just a random crown card, 500 packs. Oh my goodness. What does that look like if I want a specific one? Well, if you want a specific card, it costs 90 packs on average to get a specific three-star card like this Charizard EX. I don't even have one. I had to pull this image from the internet. But if you want a specific two-star card, it's 360 packs. That's right. Two-star cards individually are way rarer than three-star cards. They're so much more rare. The odds of getting any one two-star card are like four times less likely than the odds of getting a specific three-star card. Crown cards, though, are insane. You would need to open 1,460 packs just to get an average chance, just for an average chance, of getting a golden crown card, specifically the one you want. Oh my goodness. Because these three categories of cards, especially the crown cards, are so incredibly rare, I grouped them together into the ultimate rarity category. I highly recommend that you save all of your Wonder Pick Refresh energy in order to get these cards. In fact, here is how, given all this information, I would use Wonder Pick if I were you. Since Wonder Pick will refresh a new charge every once in a while, but you don't get any new charges while your charges are full, I recommend spending exactly one charge on low rarity Wonder Picks so that you will always be sitting at four charges and always building your fifth charge. Never, ever, ever spend any Wonder Pick refresh energy. You want to hoard that. You want to hold on to it. Always spend one charge when you have five. Don't spend any charges when you have four. Save all your energy. And then when you see a Wonder Pick option that has a golden crown card, or a two-star card, or a three-star card. That's when you want to try to dump all of the charges you've been saving onto that very rare card. This is the most efficient way to use Wonder Pick, and will give you the best chance of getting the rarest cards in the game, by reducing them to a 1 out of 5 chance, 20%, which means you only have to do on average 5 of these Wonder Picks to get any of these incredibly insanely rare cards. Now, of course, I don't recommend the points shop. The points shop has incredibly inflated expensive prices for these cards. Double stars are 1,250 points, which represents opening 250 packs in order to get all those points. Three star cards are similar, and crown cards cost 2,500 points. That's 500 packs of points. Given how insanely rare these cards are, I really recommend using Wonder Pick to try to get them, and not Shop Points. As I've said before, the most efficient option for Shop Points would be the Triple Diamond cards. 
That being said, my recommendation to you is to actually hoard all your shop points and never ever spend them. The reason is, think about it like this, if you buy a rare triple diamond card today, and then tomorrow you open some more packs, for the next week you open some more packs, and sometime within the month you draw that triple diamond card, you've kind of wasted your shop points. Instead, I recommend you hoard them, hoard them, and hoard them. Eventually, you're going to collect most of the cards, but be missing one or two, probably some very rare ones. That is the time to finally spend your shop points to pick up the cards you're missing. You can also spend shop points if you desperately need a card to complete your deck if you're a tournament or PvP player and you don't want to spend money on the game. These are the only valid reasons to spend shop points right now, and I really wouldn't spend them on anything else. It's also worth noting that different packs have different cards in them and different boosting rates. All of the data I used was on the Mewtwo Psychic pack, but actually there are other packs. I really like this pack rating infographic by Double M that shows which packs are the best for the cards that they favor. And I think I'm going to focus on the Psychic Pack and especially the Charizard Fire Pack based on this awesome infographic. I'll probably end up using my remaining pack points in order to get anything I missed from the Electric Pack later. At least that's my plan. I hope this video helped you how to decide on what to wonder pick, what to spend shop points on, and to maybe explain just how rare everything is in this game. I'm the sneakiest video game playing dragon, and I'll catch you later.